What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. You, you, <coughs> woo! Sorry. Um, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Capsule Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh my god, I'm constipated. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm trying to, not to have my boobs laid out everywhere, but I love this shirt, so we're rolling with it. Um, so yeah, um, it's actually a really beautiful message, man. I've been getting some positive ones in recently. It's about time, and I'm just saying, it is about time. And y'all know I promoted Chiron Intuition, one of his videos. Um, he was talking about a high priestess energy, um, going into better energy. I feel, you know, ever since I got released from the Secret 7 shit, just for real, for real, the messages have been so much better. I mean, so much better. And that's just the truth. So, I feel... I felt his reading resonated with me. I know there's many high priestesses out there, but um, I definitely think it resonated with me. So that obviously, uh, that's why I promoted it. One, I thought it was good reading it. Two, I thought it resonated with me. So, but anyway, so yeah. Um, okay, so. Da, da, da. So the channel message I received was two people, masculine and feminine energy, very heavily in the public eye. I heard both of them. Both of them very heavily in the public eye. Um, through many series of chain events, they're going to gain um, deep affection for each other. That's what I heard. I heard feelings. Deep affection for one another and feelings. Sounds like a love reading if you ask me. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's one masculine and one femme. They're both heavily in the public eye. And, um, the feel it doesn't sound like the feelings have occurred yet in the energetic space. It's upcoming. It's upcoming futuristic energy, um, into the future. Um, but it sounds like through some kind of series of chain events about to be created in the universe, either one's going to create them, they're both going to create them, the other one's going to create them, or something happens to where they come together to collaborate or work together or converse together or something feelings are going to um interact uh, they're going to form between both of these people um i'm feeling mutual energy i'm feeling mutual but i didn't hear that so you plug it in how it resonates um that's really beautiful um it's a masculine and feminine both heavy in the public eye so you plug it in how it resonates It is, for many series of chain events, it's going to be very, very, very successful for both of these people. Both of these people are about to uh, develop huge desire, drive, and motivations in their own lives separately. Through series of chain events, they're about to be created in the universe, and it's about to motivate these people in separate energetic spaces and be motivated together. It's about to be a real energetic complement. The masculine energy did not respect this feminine energy in the past, but now he really does, and it's really shifted the energetic space. Okay, well, that's a mouthful. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, and really, I mean, that's beautiful. Um, so it's a masculine and femme. They're both heavy in the public eye. 
They both are in different energetic spaces in the universe. So I'm feeling maybe separate professions or if not separate professions, they're definitely separate in the energetic space. They're not around each other energetically in the energetic space, if that makes sense. Um, but I feel similar ideals, possibly. They might have same careers, possibly. Um, I don't know why I brought the career part. They might have same careers, but they're in different energetic spaces. So they are away from each other energetically. Now, they might converse. I mean, soon they're going to be conversing and maybe collaborating and maybe together 3D, possibly. But um, definite communication energy, um, for sure, for sure. They might have already communicated in the past. In fact, these two, um, I feel they know each other um, because I heard he respects her now. So they definitely know each other. They definitely know each other. And so obviously they've communicated in the past, but some kind of, Upcoming series of chain of events is about to meld them, merge them together more in communication or um, collaboration or teamwork or maybe a date for some. I mean, I'm not sure. You only you know your story in situation, not anybody else. Excuse me. Um, but I heard the masculine energy did not respect the femme in the past, but he does now. He does now. But somehow they are energetically separated right now. So I'm feeling um, definitely not around each other in 3D world. There might have been communication here. Might have been. But definitely not. Like, I don't feel they work together is what I'm saying. I don't feel they live in the same home space together. Um, I don't feel they're on the same ball team together. They're not in the same energetic space. They don't go to the same social clubs or um, go to bingo on Friday night at 8 p.m. If bingo is legal in your area. You see what I'm saying? Um, not like that. But how that resonates, something is about to be, is about to occur in the universe that's going to bring them together and it's going to form feelings here. They do definitely know each other. It's masculine and femme. Masculine did not respect the femme in the past. He does now. And it's about to uh, form some feelings here. How that resonates in class. Wow, man. I wonder if it's twin flame energy. I didn't hear it was, but it might be. It might be. Um, I do feel these people are on mental, the same mental, physical, emotional, sexual, and um, wavelengths here. Um, for some reason, I do. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that was the case. But intuitively, I feel this. I feel they are on the same mental, physical, intellectual, um, spiritual, sexual wavelength. Um, so same, same energy is what I'm feeling or similar, but you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Y'all see my fat roll. I don't want you to see my fat roll. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> I mean, I'm all about being myself, but I don't want my fat rolls hanging out. That's just the truth. I'm trying to lose them. <laughs> Spare messages here. Looks like this. Share messages here, collectors. These people are very compatible. There is about to be huge life changes to both of these people's lives very separately, very soon, and it's about to benefit both of these people in huge ways. Whoa! Okay, it's getting juicy up in here, you guys. Okay, there's about to be huge life changes in both of these people's lives soon separately. So a lot of separate energetic, um, energetic energy, separate energetic energy here. So they live their life separate, apart. They don't live in the same household. I don't feel they work together. They're not on the same ball team together, same 
crafts team together or what have you, what have you. They live separate lives, basically. But um, I heard huge um, changes are about to come to both of these people's lives very soon. Um, like life altering significant changes here is what I'm feeling to both of their lives. And it's actually going to benefit both of these people. Um, now, whether these people know it's going to benefit them or not, it might be a hindsight 2020 for some of these people, possibly. For some, I feel you could be one of these people. Possibly. There's a reason I'm drawing this in. So I feel one of you guys, you might be the masculine, you might be the femme. You plug it in, how it resonates. But huge life altering event, basically, coming, upcoming in the universe. I'm going to affect both of these people separately. Whether they see it's going to benefit them or not, I'm not sure. Because I didn't hear what specifically what they were. So, But it's going to happen separately. But it's going to end up benefiting both of these people, I think, to come together or to form feelings or to... Or just benefit their life separately. How that resonates. To me, the huge life altering events could go a million different ways. And I'm serious. That could be a divorce. That could be a breakup. That I mean, if we're on the relationship sector, that could be a um, on the break. That could be a job gaining, job loss, um, a um, switch in um, residences. Um, that could be traveling more. That could be um, getting a new job. I mean, a million different things. It could be a million different things. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? But it's some kind of huge life-altering thing. Spirit messages you have to plug this. A Taurus is about to end a sexual connection with the air sign. It's about to be the best thing they've ever done. For them. A Taurus is about to end a sexual connection with the air sign. I heard it's about to be the best thing they've ever done for them. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Um, maybe you're one of these people, Taurus, masculine or feminine. I feel a potential power couple energy here. Now, it doesn't have to be, I heard feelings are being formed, but it doesn't mean they end up being together, like twin flame energy. Um, and I'm just being for it. You know, power couple can be collaboration. It can be teamwork. It doesn't have to be, ooh, baby, lovey-dovey, you're on my arm in the public eye. Um, it doesn't have to be that. Um, it can just be working together, collaborating together. You're good together um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, like dream team energy, kill them tiger energy. Um, power couple obviously could be, um, I know power couples are usually deemed as, um, everybody wants to be like these people. Like, you know, um, they're both rich. They're both successful. They're both famous. Um, both good looking. I know that's the power couple, but to me, power couple could be like, Teamwork makes the dream work. It could be like collaboration. It could be like killing it in a certain situation, like a positive killing it. Um, and getting it done energy. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's me. That's me. But you plug in and how it resonates. Experience it just you have reflected. I think one of these people's been stubborn in the past. I think it might have been the masculine here because I heard he um, he did not respect the femme in the past, but he does now. So um, the femme can be stubborn too, though. Hell, I know I'm stubborn. I'm femme. So, I mean, you know, it, it, it really all depends, okay? It all depends. Spirit messages you have reflected. He's about to get a huge fire lit under his ass, and so is she. It's about to be very positive for both of these people, very separately and together. He's about to get a huge fire lit under his ass, and so is she. Um, it's about to be very positive for both, both of these people together. So, well, that's really beautiful, sir or ma'am, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. I'm about to get a huge fire lit under your ass, um, sir or ma'am. Separately, separately, which is going to, um, I think, lead to some kind of, well, it's going to lead to feelings, but I think it's going to lead to, 
collaboration, communication, um, something about to get done. Um, I don't feel this is all lovey-dovey energy. I think something is about to happen, which is going to cause the feelings, is what I'm trying to say. I think something in the universe is about to happen where both of you guys work on something or create something or build something or do something together to where the feelings are going to be formed. That's exactly what I feel. Um, how does that resonate? I'm, oh my God, you can't make this crap up. If you wanted to, uh, pay attention to your work. It's something to do with some kind of work. Um, collaboration, teamwork. Um, something you're going to do together. I told you guys, building, um, collaboration, teamwork. Um, however that resonates. You could work together. No, I heard separate energetic spaces. Separate. No, you don't work together. Maybe you end up working together. Um, you're going to end up working on something, uh, collaboration, teamwork. Yeah. Well, you might end up, um, I think you might end up working on something, but I don't think it's like a 3D workplace energy. I heard separate energetic spaces. So I don't think it's a 3D workplace energy. But I do think you're going to work on something together. How this resonates and applies. Um, whoever you guys are, mask on a pin. Um, so are separate energetic spaces, so I don't think you work in the 3D workspace together. Um, but you're about to work on something together. Pay attention to your work. Oh, my God. Spirit messages you have. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to, and I'm just being for real. After this, I'm about to go walk in my hand. Her get another one. We have not unsuccessful plans. The personal strength and peace that is your success. Yeah, okay, okay. There was a huge L in the past, a huge L, but that does not mean that this is not going to work because it's going to. Lots of drive and strategic um, planning is about to make this work in honesty. Okay, I heard there was a huge L, but it doesn't mean that it has to be. Um, there, uh, there needs to be a lot of strategic planning and success, um, planning and um, goal-oriented type behavior here. Whatever this is, y'all are about to collaborate on, teamwork with, what have you, what have you. Um, I heard it will be successful, but um, with a lot of honesty and um, um effort put into this whatever this is okay a lot of honesty and effort and something um and i think it involves a lot of details because we have pay attention to your work i think it involves a lot of details i heard it was a huge l in the past unsuccessful plans but i heard it um it, it doesn't have to be and i heard it won't be if um i feel if there's a lot of free-flowing communication here um and um let me see if I hear anything else. D, personal strength and peace that is your success. I heard it will be successful, but there needs to be a lot of, um, what was it? Um, honesty. A lot of honesty um, and a lot of work into this. And I feel it's detail-oriented, whatever this is. There will be lots of desire here, lots of drive, and lots of motivation here, and lots of passion on both of these parties' ends. It will be very successful, very, very, very successful. Both of these people are going to gain great success from this, great. Wow. Okay. I heard it's going to be very, very, very successful. Both of these people are going to gain, gain great success from this. Great success. And whoever these people are, masculine and feminine, if you resonate in these situation, Mamers are, you're both heavily in the public eye already. 
Now, you can be in public eye a million different ways. You can be in the 3D workspace in the public eye. You can have an online public social media platform like I do in the public eye. Or you can be both like I used to when I worked at the nursing home full time and did this full time. Well, I didn't do this full time. I did just did this on the side and worked at the nursing home full time. Full time. But however that resonates, this is public eye energy is what I'm trying to say. Working out in the 3D workspace is public eye energy. If you own a business and you go out in the business um, in the 3D workspace with the business, that's public eye. So however you're in the public eye is what I'm trying to say. But her is going to be very, very, very successful, ma'am and sir. Very successful um, for both of you. For both of you. But um, you're both going to have lots of passion, desire, drive, and motivation to make this happen. And that's why it's about to become very successful and I strongly feel it has to do with something to do with details I just um, I didn't hear details I just strongly feel that something detail oriented it, I'm feeling paperwork I'm feeling um, documentation or paperwork or something detail oriented for some reason I didn't hear details but we have to pay attention to your work um, I strongly feel for some it has something to do with details um, I, I don't know why I'm just saying, y'all know if I give the intu if I have the intuitive punches, I tell you, and I strongly feel it has something to do with details. Um, and because of who you both are as people, it's about to really, really sh uh, shine through in a positive way. And because of who you both are as people, it's about to really, really shine through in a positive way. Okay, so. There was some kind of unsuccessful L in, in, in the energe energetic space in the past. So L, for anybody who doesn't know, it's a loss. It's a loss. It's a dud. It's a loss. Boom. Period. Point blank. Bar none. That's L, for anybody who doesn't know. It's like the, just saying. But uh, it sounds like there might be a, uh, a something that's going to redeem this in some shape, form, or fashion. Either redeem it or revive it or revitalize it or revamp it or something. Um, however that resonates and applies, okay? Um, for some, this could be home flipping. For some, this could be, I feel like for some, this could be home flipping. For some, this could be renovating. For some, this could be um, some kind of legal situation. Uh, for some, this could be something else. Um, for some, this could be a reconciliation, possibly. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates in your own particular life and situation. But how of that resonates, I heard it's going to be very, very, very successful. Very successful. Because of both of, because one, some kind of honesty and some kind of truth. Um, and two, because of who you both are. Apparently, because of who you both are, is very significant and positive to this, which is going to make it very successful, um, if that makes sense. Um, so um, I don't feel you're going to get like preferential treatment, um, whoever you are. I'm not feeling like pretty privilege or preferential treatment. I'm feeling this is, because um, I heard deep personal strength and motivation and desire and drive. I think it's because you don't give up. Both of you don't give up. You don't give up and you really want to make this happen. And because of both of because of who you both are, meaning who you present out into the public, who you are, um, hopefully no false mask energy. I don't know. Only you know your story not anybody else, but it's going to really help this. I think public image is gonna help this. Um, and hopefully not in an opportunistic, take you for granted kind of way. I don't feel it is, but um, it could be. I mean, no, no, I don't think it is. I'm sorry. I don't think it is. Could be. I'm sorry. I take that back. I don't think this is opportunistic energy. I really don't. I don't feel it is. Um, I don't. I don't. At least I hope it's not. We have deep personal strength and peace that's just extreme success. I think you're both going to put the hard work in this. Period, point blank. I think you're going to both put the hard work into this. Um, pay attention to your work. You're going to put the hard work into this. There was an L in the past. It's going to turn around. and But it's because of who you both are, if that makes sense. 
um, you you um, don't give up. I don't think you give up. Um, I don't think there's false mask here or there's about not to be. And um, and that's really going to help. you. Um, through many shocking series of chain of events, when this collaboration starts, there will be there will be some serious secrets revealed here because uh, the masculine energy will reveal sec uh, serious secrets because they know this feminine energy will not go off and blab them to everybody. But it's not going to put her in a comprom compromising position. He doesn't want to do that. And it's not going to. Okay. Okay, so um, some kind of serious secrets, but um, they're not harmful serious secrets. He's about to seriously make this right on many levels. They're not harmful serious secrets. He's about to make this right on many levels. So I heard they're not harmful serious secrets. So, it, you know, it's it's like, it's kind of like, like you, I didn't want you to see my fat work. I mean, that's a very mundane, superficial example, but... I'm just saying, like, I'm sure it's something much more than that. Um, but I'm just using my fat roll hiding as an example is what I'm trying to say. I'm sure it's something much more than that. But my point is, is I heard it's not the secrets he's going to reveal to you, Fem Energy. The masculine energy is going to reveal to you. It's not going to be something that's going to compromise your integrity or your morals or your values or your ethics or something. Because I heard he's about to start making a lot of stuff right. Um... I think regarding you or a situation or something that's about to involve you or you're going to help make it right or something like that. Um, but it's somehow you are involved with this, ma'am. But I heard he knows he can trust you already. I'll tell you that. He knows he can trust you already, but it sounds like when y'all start collaborating, he's really going to know it or sense it or what have you, what have you. I just hope he don't take advantage of it. I just hope he doesn't take advantage of your loyalty, of your trust, of your integrity, and things like that. Because you can take advantage of people that you know are honest, that have the positive, upright energy of honesty, trust, morals, respect, values, ethics, and integrity. You can take advantage of that, but I'm hoping he doesn't, is what I'm trying to say. Because if he does, that would be an opportunistic energy. So I hope he doesn't. I'm not saying he won't, because I don't know, ma'am. But I heard he is going to really, 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 he's going to start making it better. So that's another reason why I don't think he's going to take advantage of you. Whoever you are, ma'am, I feel you were taken advantage of in the past. Seriously? Taken advantage of. Seriously. Seriously taken advantage of. Seriously. Okay, so you were seriously taken advantage of, but he's about to help make you right. In some shape, form, or fashion. Um... That's really beautiful, ma'am, if this resonates for you. Um, and sir, and sir, because it sounds like y'all are both stepping up. You're both stepping up, and you, you're being the people. Um, I heard it's because it's both who you are. Well, I think it's because of who you are on the inside. Your morals, values, ethics, integrity. And I do think public image hat does have something to do with this, too. I'm not saying it's all the inside here, because I don't think it is. I think some is outside public image, too. Absolutely, freaking lutely I'm not going to lie. I do. But some of it has to do with the inside, too. Um, who you are as individuals. And I'm just being for real. I'm serious. But um, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? I'm not saying nobody uh, makes mistakes because God knows. Y'all, I've talked about a lot of mistakes on here for hell for two and a half years. Um, everybody makes them. Um, but it's. Um, moving into positive space here. And one of the spiritual messages downloads here in the beginning was moving into positive energetic space. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, yeah. I did get a download about moving into positive energetic space. I did. But you want to know the ironic part about that? It's not on this video. And I'm almost 30 minutes in this video. It was not this video. It was actually, what, what, what happened was, what happened was, it's the same you're saying. Um, I was doing that video, but I, somebody drove up in my driveway, and I saw them come to the front door. So I ran out to go 
meet with the person. It was a tree trimming guy, gutter guy. Um, and uh, so I went out to communicate with him. But I was out there conversing with him so long, my video died. It died. <laughs> so the video, I never uploaded it because my camera went out. It just um, kaput it. It went out. So, but that is a download. I did get in here earlier, but the video did not upload because I was out there conversing with that guy so long. He was a real good guy, offering very fair prices, very fair prices. Um, um, he does gutters and roof painting and shutter work and things like that. Um, um, and I probably will utilize him. Um, I, I absolutely think I'm about to utilize him. Um, and I'm serious. Um, very fair prices. I've been um, searching for gutter work and um, roof work and um, things of that nature for a while. Um, so I know the price that he quoted me was fair. And I asked him a couple of questions um, to kind of gauge. Um, it was fair. It was fair. Um, but I didn't want him to know I'd been searching for you uh, for a while. And that's the truth um, because, you know, you don't want to give away too much to people and that's just the truth. So anyway, so, um, but yeah, success here. Um, I do think public image has something to do with it, but I also think um, internal has something to do with it too. And I'm just being for real, but I heard feelings will be formed. So, you know, whether you guys act on the feelings or whether you don't, that is y'all's personal preference. I don't know if you're single. I don't know if you're dating. I don't know if you're married. I'm not sure. Only you know you're swearing out anybody else, okay? But I did hear feelings were going to be formed. But, you know, feelings can be formed and you not act upon them, too. So, um, it, you know, just because you have feelings for somebody doesn't mean you're going to be knocking the boots two hours later in a hotel room or wherever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay? You two are about to be very, very, very successful. Very successful. You two are about to be very, very, very successful. Very successful. That's double deuces confirmation for successful. I feel for one, you might be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. Or maybe Aquarius is your opposite sign. I know Aquarius is my opposite sign. For Leo's um, opposite sign is Aquarius. And for Aquarius, opposite sign is Leo. Uh, if anybody doesn't know that. But um, I do, uh, for some reason, intuitively, I feel maybe one of you guys might have Aquarius in your chart or be an Aquarius. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I'm not hearing Aquarius. But I just kind of feel one of you guys might have Aquarius in your chart, man or woman. Or, yeah, that's what I think. That's exactly what I think. Or, if it's not, it could be just acquiring energy for some for some reason. I'm serious. Spirit messages here. Like My cat loves that rug. Oh, let me check this message real quick because I was trying to figure out when they were going to come do the walkthrough for my house. I plan on selling my house um, at the end of this month. So, um, tentatively. But, um. I'm connecting with people to get them to walk through it and all that. I apologize to you guys. You, oh my god, you can't make this shit up even if you wanted to. Holy crap, man. Door to romance with journey reverse. Door to value. Broken heart reverse. What an action. What the hell, man? 
Look at this. You can't make this up if you wanted to. I heard feelings are going to be formed. So are the romance. Feelings are going to be formed. Whether you want them to be formed or not. They haven't happened yet. Um, I don't feel you actually work together. I think you're about to collaborate on something. And it's going to form some feelings. Collaboration. We've got confirmation thunder, by the way. Um, I don't. Yeah, I do. I think you're about to collaborate on something. Teamwork makes the dream work. Separate practices or separate businesses or separate facilities or separate sites or separate something. And then you're going to come together. Feelings. You're not going to have to travel very far, I don't feel. Um, I mean, to get to this person is what I'm feeling. Or you're going to feel energetically connected to this person. We have journey reversed. You're both very, very, very valuable. Or you're going to make a lot of money off this. Or it's going to be very successful. Or you're going to become, I mean, something to do with money. Whether you are valuable, um, both of you are valuable, or you're going to make a lot of money off this, or um, or something of that nature. Something to do with value. Um, it may not be money for both of you. I heard you're both, I heard it's because of it's who you both are. So, um, I think you're both valuable and I'm just being for real. Broken heart reversed. It's going to mend some kind of broken heart or heal something or heal heartbreak or, um, in sadness or something for you or you, sir, you, ma'am, or for both of you, however that resonates and applies. Okay. Um, for some, I feel it's going to be a connection form. Our feelings are going to form. I feel it's going to form between both of you or feel. Yeah, that's exactly what I feel. Um, but you don't have to act upon feelings. You don't have to act upon them. That's just the truth. That's your free will, whether you act upon them or not. Okay. But whether you act upon them or not, it's going to cure loneliness or cure heartbreak or cure emotional sadness or loneliness or something. Um, some kind of emotional void with action. Wow. This, holy crap. Uh, wow. I need to go walk them before it starts thundering like the bottom falls out. Okay. Um, 30, number 33, 2, 31, 9, or 17 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 33, 2, 31, 9, 17. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, a very greedy Taurus is about to be very pissed. Money train is about to be cut off. One, they're a dirty investigator. One, they are a prostitute. A very greedy Taurus is um, about to um, be mad. I heard they're about to be cut off. Um, one, they're a dirty investigator. One, they are a prostitute. So you plug it in how it resonates. We've got two dirty Tauran uh, energies. And I'm not down in Tauruses, but that's what we got in here. I'm just being for real. One, it's a dirty investigator. One, it is a um, uh, prostitute. They could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, masculine or feminine Taurus. But I heard Dirty Investigator. That's the first time I picked up Dirty Investigator energy in here. But there's Dirty anybody. You could be a Dirty Nurse, a Dirty Lawyer, a Dirty Investigator, a Dirty Fast Food Restaurant Worker. And I say that true story. When I was a teenager, um, back in my hometown, small, well, it's not, not a small town anymore, but it used to be. When McDonald's was the only fast food place there, other than Subway, where I worked as a teenager. When my uh, ex-boyfriend, well, my boyfriend at the time there, he worked at McDonald's. Well, he actually worked at Subway with me, but before that, he worked at McDonald's. When he worked at McDonald's, one of his co-workers, and I, probably him, I'm just being for real. Probably him, too. He never told me he did, but probably him knowing him. Pete got their heart out and peed in the ground beef the patties true story 
How immature is that? That's, I mean, you could seriously make somebody very ill by doing that. And I'm serious. They laughed about it. They thought it was funny as hell. I didn't think it was funny because it's not. Because like I told them, I was like, you can really make somebody seriously ill doing that. And they just thought it was funniest thing ever. Of course, you know, it was way back in the day. You're talking about 16, 17 year old, 18 year olds talking about that. But my daughter's 16 right now. I don't think she'd find that funny. And I didn't find it funny at 16. And that's just the truth. But how that resonates, um, I don't know how I got off on that. Oh my God, I don't know how I got off on that. But that is a true story. But it was a long time ago. Over 20 years ago. Way over 20 years ago. But um, Taurus is about to be cut off. Whether they're a prostitute, masculine or Taurus, they're getting paid for sex services. It sounds like right now. And a dirty investigator, meaning something is going on in this investigation in a dirty aspect of behind the scenes, now backwards, um, crooked way. Um, how that resonates? Um, they can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Let me see if I hear anything else, okay? This is about to shift the energetic space in a huge way, in positive ways. This is about to shift the energetic space in huge positive ways. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard these people are going to be pissed. But I think you, fem energy, or you, masculine energy, are about to cut these people off if you apply in these message or messages. You are about to cut these people off. Some kind of dirty investigator energy, some kind of prostitute energy, whether it's a man or a woman. Okay? Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, I'm getting out of this one. I love you guys. I hope you're helping. Namaste.